Like most farms which have livestock, the dairy I work on has a grain auger, sometimes called a grain elevator, which is used to lift grain up into the top of the grain silos from the delivery truck, which in most cases is a semi-trailer as we're talking 20 tonnes or so at a time. The principle goes back thousands of years and is an Archimedes screw which basically consists of a large helical screw inside a tubular housing of some sort. What I did was I sketched it out on a piece of paper and oddly enough it's worked out almost exactly how I drew it out to start with uh, with a few minor modifications just to improve the way it picked up the grain at the end. I had to extend the frame at the end to allow the auger to go deeper into the seat um, and it has worked out actually quite well. Uh, the, the power source is a cordless drill and the auger is a 90 millimeter auger from our petrol post hole borer and fit, which fits nicely inside a 100 mil piece of PVC pipe uh, with about a 5 mil gap on either side so it actually clears pretty well and um, so let's have a look at how it works. It was about now that I spotted a large kangaroo had come up to our orchard and was chewing on the leaves of one of my almond trees. So let's have a look at him, shall we? So there's this big kangaroo eating my almonds. Hey big boy. How you doing? Jeez, you're a big fucker, aren't you? Alright big boy. You gonna go over or under? Oh, that was a squeeze, wasn't it, mate? Okay, back to the demonstration of how this grain auger works. As you can see, if the auger is held too vertical, the grain tends to build up on the out feed. So the plan is to move that and angle that down it more. If you tilt the whole thing at 45 degrees, the grain falls out of its own way much better. But I'll explain that a little bit later in the video. So just keep watching for the moment. So what I've found with this is, if you operate it like this the grain builds up here a bit and it doesn't push it out of the way and it tends to build up too much on top of the auger so if you run it at 45 degrees as you can see the grain comes up falls really nicely and it operates much better and it's much clearer and actually quite a bit faster so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 45 move that down to there so that this extension piece is already at 45 degrees so it's only got about maybe 10 or 15 millimeters before it's falling at 45 degrees anyway and I think that'll work much better as you can see I've had to put the handle up there because it broke off it was only screwed through this PVC pipe so with a couple of penny washers so it wasn't really the greatest design and so this up here I think will work better and um, right, so um, I think that'll work fine We'll, just, we'll have to see how that goes. It's only a plan, but uh, you've got to have a plan if you're going to have something to deviate from. So in summary, it works pretty well, but it's one of those things that, you know, you quite often have good ideas that don't actually work as well as you'd think. And the idea was it would save me having to lift the 25 kilo bags of um, chook feed up to, to tip them into the bin. And um, the idea is to try and future-proof the place as I get older, but... Oh, it was good fun to tinker with and the principle works great so I'll, I'll, I'll keep the principle in mind but um, this one I still use it occasionally just, just to try it out just to show that my time wasn't completely wasted and um, yeah so it was like I said one of those good ideas that didn't work as well as hoped. I, I guess it works okay it's just, it's just not really as effective and um, it's barely worth the trouble of cutting this thing up to the chook house. 
Um, okay, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.